Okay, how are we all today? Hope you're well. Welcome to the life of Sev, the Sevo Show. I am here in my new kind of studio. This is my backdrop, uh, inspired by the great Butsman, Isaac Butterfield. Shout outs to you. Hopefully one day we can have a yarn. Tomorrow, I turn 30. Fuck. It's been three decades already and uh, all I want to do is talk about what I've learnt in the past 10 years. The 20s. What the fuck happened? Let's get straight into it, eh? So, I've taken some notes. I'm just going to read off them. See what I've got. When you begin your 20s, you're all about the parties. You're, you're raring to go. You, you maybe moved out of your parents' house or, or maybe uh, you give a fuck less about what your parents say and, you know, all their restrictions and shit. You, you're paying them $50 board a week, which means, you know, here's some money for allowing me to live here, but I can go do shit that I want to now and don't have to tell you where I'm going and when I'm coming back, provided that is how your arrangement is at home. Anyway, early in your 20s, your party days and your cluelessness of what the fuck is actually going on. You're an adult, but you're not actually an adult. So that's pretty much the, the beginning. That's how it starts. Your adult, adult life is like, I'm an adult now. Doesn't feel like it. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. You have no clear plan, but that's okay. That's fine. You're going to learn. You're going to figure it out. People don't take you seriously until you show them. Your 20s are for you to taste test and mess up miserably, fail, fuck up, just completely bomb the shit out of your life. Because again, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. And if you're lucky enough to get into a place early where you're stoked as shit, good for you. But ask yourself, will it last? Because again, just because you found the perfect steak that you want to cook every night doesn't mean you're going to enjoy that steak for years to come. You may want to try a chicken parmi or parma or whatever the fuck you call it. Your 20s are to find out what your flavors are personally to you. What you love, what you're about, what you specifically like. Not your friends, not your mum, not your sister or your brother or whoever. You. You are finding you. Think of it like you're trying to mature your tasting palate, right? You taste something for the first time. It, it, it's a, it may be a hit and miss. You love it, or you just like it a little bit, or you fucking hate it completely. That's okay. That's your 20s. Your job is to improve that palate, improve that taste. And whether or not you like something at the start of your 20s doesn't necessarily rule out that you won't like it later. So if you hate something, you may like it later. If you love something now, you may find that it's a complete waste of fucking time at the end of your 20s. So try to keep improving that palate and taste as much shit as you possibly can. Yes, shit. Because uh, how do you know what sweet tastes like if you don't know what shit tastes like? Everything can't be sweet in this world. And again, that's one of the biggest takeouts for my 20s. Learning to love yourself at the start of your adult journey is one of the hardest things you could possibly do. It gets a little bit overwhelming because people judge the shit out of you. They will be like, why the fuck are you into this shit? Or why are you doing that for? Or hey, that's pretty cool, but we're all doing this. You should do this with us. It's not about that. It's about you. It is absolutely worth you finding yourself and what you believe in, what you love, and being your biggest fan. It'll be fucking worth it. You build resilience. The end. Then, whatever next comes along, you try it out. It's not for you. Cool. Someone else thinks that you're a piece of shit for not being a whatever sort of belief. Who cares? You do you. And that's one of the most important things that you can learn as a young adult. Finding someone, somewhere, or something that you love, you enjoy doing, is great. It's so fucking good. It's the best feeling in the world. Finding your most ideal job, your ideal partner in life, or just something that you really fucking enjoy doing, it's great. But throwing it all away and starting again is also okay. 
because that just means it wasn't for you long term. And then you ask yourself, what is something long term? Do you get bored? Three, four years down the line, are you going to be interested in it still? Keep your options open. You don't have to commit to the same fucking thing for the rest of your life. That's bullshit. People will change all throughout your life. And in your 20s, you may go through so many different friend circles. And that's okay. Their beliefs change. Your beliefs change. Your values go all over the place. And that's okay. And it's so important to be selfish. And not like fucking cut someone off on the freeway or some shit like that. But, but do you. Don't worry about helping someone else and, and pausing your life. You do you first. They'll figure it out. Then you'll come time to a point where you start making videos and saying, hey, this is what I've learned. Feel free to give it a go as well. I've managed to find myself so far. Still fucking young. Turning 30 tomorrow, it's still fucking young. But I feel like I'm on my way to something that I really truly enjoy doing. And now, you know, I could be a little bit selfless and help other people out. Here I am. Your parents do not owe you shit. And you do not owe your parents absolutely anything. They brought you into this world. They raised you. Pay it forward by doing the same, having kids of your own or being successful because of their upbringing. You don't have to give them credit. If they weren't around, fuck them. Do you. You don't owe your parents shit. And if they say, hey, we raised you. We're letting you live in this house. You have to do this job. And you don't want to do that job? Move out. Say to them, thank you, mum and dad, for this uh, opportunity that you've given me in life. But I'm going to do my own thing now. And uh, I look forward to you eating your humble pie in years to come when I'm truly doing what I love. No one knows you better than you know yourself. No one can ever know how you know yourself, ever, ever. And don't force them to understand either. People come and people go. They like your vibes, they'll stick around. They don't like your vibes, good on them. They're each to their own. But if someone comes up to you and says to you, hey, that's not your thing, or hey, I don't think what you're doing is great, you should do this. They don't know the background of you. You know what's right. Give it a go. But take criticism. Reflect on it. Take everybody's advice and take it, run with it, see how you go. That's fine. But just remember, nobody knows you as good as you know yourself. You are your biggest fan and that's it. Take it like this. You support a football team, or a soccer team, cricket team, whatever fucking sport you like, and uh, you absolutely live and breathe everything that that sports team's all about. You come to a game and, and, you, and you come across a, a fan of the opposing team. They're gonna shit talk you all day long, saying your team sucks, our team is way better, your team hasn't even made the finals in four years. So what? We're rebuilding. I love my team, I've been following the team since I was a little boy. They're gonna do well, eventually. I love them for who they are. This is my team. This is, this is what I love. Same as in your own life. You are your own biggest fan. Nobody knows your own personal team as good as you do and what you believe in. So fucking run with it. Take that football and run with it. Kick as many goals as you can. And even if you're missing, hitting the post or out of bounds on the full, you'll start scoring those goals eventually. Just keep fucking working at it and you'll show them. Believe in yourself. You are your own biggest fan. Expect nothing. Celebrate everything. And then go again. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy the fucking moment. Right now, I'm enjoying this moment. 31st of December 2020. About to wrap up a shithole year. For me, it was quite good. But now, I'm going to go again. And I'm going to continue enjoying that journey. Because when that bell rings, that's it. You're done. You don't listen to a full song and wait for the ending because then the song's finished. You vibe with that whole song. Treat your life as an entire orchestra, an entire symphony. Every single aspect of that song 
of your masterpiece composition is what you're all about. Not the final crash of the fucking symbols. Because that, that's over. Celebrate. Enjoy it. Fucking just be all about it. That's it. There's my 20s in a nutshell. What have you learnt from this? What have you taken away from this? Let me know. And if you're in your 30s, what have you taken out of this that you may have missed or you may have learnt something? Beyond your 30s, I'd like to know. Here I am. I'm going to try to do this once a week for 2021. One YouTube video. Thanks for subscribing, following, hitting the bell, all that fucking shit. You do what you want. If you like my content, great. If you don't, appreciate you stopping by and having a listen. Have a good new year. Be your biggest fucking fan.